Welcome back to A Simple Word, where we reflect on the gospel for the coming Sunday. And I think a good question we can ask ourselves before we listen to any gospel is, uh, we need to be prepared to ask ourselves, who am I in this gospel? There are often different players in the gospel. Jesus is speaking to different people. And to ask, who am I? Because Jesus is speaking to the chief priests and the elders of the people. He says, listen to this parable. And we need to reflect, am, am I like the chief priest and, or one of the elders, or am I someone in the parable? <clears throat> there was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a tower. Then he leased it to tenants and went on a journey. So the landowner is representing God, the Father, who does everything. He uh, plants a vineyard, he puts a hedge around it, he, he digs a wine press, he builds a tire. God does everything, and then he gives it to tenants, that, that's us. And he goes on a journey, and he comes back at vintage time. Now, it's important to consider this. Well, what exactly is vintage time? Is it just a time where we collect a, a lot of grapes, a time when we bring in a lot of money from a harvest? It's also the time of, of making the wine. It's a time of, of celebration. And we need to consider when God has done everything for us and he comes looking for fruit, why does he want it? Is this something that's for him, that, that God himself wants to get his, his piece of the pie, so to speak, or his, his part of the harvest? Or is God wanting to see that, that what he planted has borne fruit? That, that, and this fruit actually reflects in us, that we are able to, to show that, that, that God has given us something. We need to consider, why are we in this Eucharistic celebration? Why are we listening to the gospel? Are we open to receiving a grace? And for what purpose? When you ask for a grace, what, what do you ask for? What, what do you hope is going to happen in your life? Whenever you turn to God in prayer, what do you hope will happen? And is it something just for you? Or is that something that God is going to celebrate with you? What's, what's the purpose of the grace? Now, the first reading that we hear on Sunday from the prophet Isaiah helps us to understand how God desires to give us something, and often it doesn't turn out the way that he wants. It says, my friend had a vineyard. Then he looked for the crop of grapes, but what it yielded was wild grapes. Now, it's not exactly sure what these wild grapes were, but they, they were, they were uh, for sure, they didn't taste good. They, they were the kind that, that would, you would want to, to spit out, that you, that you didn't want to eat. But a good grape had been planted, but what came out was wild grapes. And God is saying to the prophet Isaiah, this is, this is you. you know? He says, why, when I, look, when I looked for the crop of grapes, did it bring forth wild grapes? Why did you turn out this way? This is the history of, of salvation so often, God has done good things for us, and He gives us everything that we need, but the, the fruit that we bear just, just isn't what He's planted in us. So what does He say in the prophet Isaiah? I'm going to make it a ruin, because the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel, and the people of Judah are His cherished plant. And He comes looking for judgment, but what He sees is bloodshed. Now, it's important to know that when the prophet speaks about judgment, what he's speaking about is the justice of God manifesting itself in us. This is a fruit that God wants for you. This is what Christ is offering us on this Sunday, that his justice, what does that mean? His goodness, his, his life, everything in his being is given to us so that we could experience eternal life. But what does the prophet see in, in, uh, in Isaiah? What, what does he see? Bloodshed. In other words, we prefer 
our own justice to the justice of God. This could be any of us. We, we always like to turn to God when, when things are going well and, and, and we like to pray because things are going well. And we also like to turn to God when, when we're in need so that God can help us. Um, but what God desires to give us more than anything else is not just that we spend time with Him and not just that He take care of our little needs. He wants to give us eternal life itself. So it's in this vein that we should continue to listen to the gospel. Uh, what happens? The, the owner wants to get his grapes. Well, it says that when vintage time drew near, he sent his servants to the tenants to obtain his produce. But the tenants seized the servants, one they beat, another one they killed, and a third they stoned. So they don't want to give up this, this, this produce, these, these grapes, even though they, they belong to the owner. So he sent some more servants, more numerous than the first ones, but they treated them in the same way. You know, they, they killed them. They, they got rid of them. And finally, he sent his son to them, thinking, they will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to one another, this is the heir. So let's kill him and we're going to get the inheritance. And, and that's what they did. They, they killed him. This is a word for us. Again, where, where, where are we in this gospel? I would like to think that I'm the kind of guy who uh, does my work. Uh, I allow God to work in me. And when there's fruit, I, I share it. But, but, but the reality is, uh, often I, I look at what I do and I think it belongs to me. I'm the one who's worked for it. I'm the one who's, who's, uh, who's obtained this. Even when we come to church on, on Sunday to listen to the gospel, why are we there? Are we there because we believe that, that we're good people? Probably are. Or are we there because God has brought us there? God is going to give us a word. God is going to bear fruit in our life. And Jesus asked the question, what will the elder of the vineyard do to those tenants when he comes? And then you have the scribes and the Pharisees saying, and this is so interesting, He's going to put those wretched men to a wretched death and, lead, and lease his vineyard to other tenants who will give him the produce at the proper times. And Jesus is warning them. This is a word for them, the scribes and the Pharisees. He knows that he is going to die and that these people who are listening to this parable don't realize who it is that's in front of them. He says this in other places in the gospel. You, you don't know who it is that's with you. So again, as I listen to the scripture on Sunday, who am I? Am I someone who knows that it's Christ that's speaking to me in this gospel? Am I someone who's aware that the only fruit I bear comes because of Christ working in my life? Jesus is, is going to tell them uh, that the stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone, and uh, this is a wonderful thing. And... Uh, it, he, he wants them to realize that they're rejecting him. And, and he says it then very clearly, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that will produce its fruit. What a challenge to the scribes and the Pharisees. Uh, but this is also a challenge for us. Hopefully we're not going to reject the builder. Hopefully we're going to be able to listen to God. But the important thing that we need to do is to, as we listen to this reading on Sunday, is to ask ourselves the question, am I the wretched one who thinks I'm responsible for the harvest? Do I think that the good that comes from me comes because of my effort, or does it come because God is doing a work in me? Is the Eucharist that I'm going to receive, is that my true food for today, or have I bought my food that I'm going to eat? And finally, do I cultivate the, the fruit that's given to me by God? It's very important that I achieve in this life, not only that I achieve a career and, and that uh, if I have a family, I'm able to care for the family, provide, and that I do many good things. What's important is that what God has given me bears fruit in my life. So it's, it's a wonderful gospel we're being given this Sunday. I invite you to begin on the Sunday by asking yourself, you know, who am I? And then not to be afraid of that question. 
you know, am I the one who thinks that this fruit is mine? Or do I see that, that God is the one who's working in me and that I have a desire to, to cultivate this fruit that's given to me by God? So uh, if you liked this presentation on, on a simple word, I invite you to check the point that says like, and uh, always feel free to uh, comment and, and send emails to the Capuchins.